Alright guys, hey, I am that sexy motherfucker from Muppet.com. I'm here to teach you how to use ABGX360. It's a uh, program that is used to check the stealth and uh, of your Xbox 360 ISOs and uh, automatically patch them if the uh, stealth is bad. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, teach you kind of how to use the program. Um, up here you see this is the input, this is where you select your ISO. Uh, you can change how you select it. You can select the file directly. You can select the directory it's in. Or if you already burned it to a DVD drive, you can select the DVD drive and put the DVD in there. Um, I strongly suggest doing the stealth on the file before you burn it. Because if you find out the stealth is bad afterwards, it's too late. You know, you're wasted a dual layer DVD now. And we all know those are somewhat expensive. Um, down here, you'll see there's a bunch of tabs. Uh, Quick start is pretty much just telling you what the program is, what it's for. Um, under options, you don't really want to change anything in here. It's already set up for how you want it or what you need to do. Um, you definitely do not want to disable the online functions because that pretty much kills the automatic patching. And uh, that's what makes this program useful is because it automatically patches the files. It has a, a server online that... Uh, Automate has all the stealth files for it, and if your stealth is bad, it'll go look it up, download it, and install it on the uh, ISO for you. Uh, manually patch and extract files. Don't really want to mess with this unless you know what you're doing. Um, I don't use it personally. I don't like doing it manually. I like the automatic. That's why I use this program. Um, it's pretty much it there. Under auto fix, this is where we need to change some stuff. Mine's already set, but on uh auto fix threshold you want to change it to level 2 because uh, that means that if the stealth is, has anything that it's uh, uncertain about if it's something's wrong with it it'll fix it anyway and if it fails the verification it'll uh, patch it too I mean it's better than level 1 because that's just if, if it fails but this one uh, gives you more leeway I guess it'll keep you safer uh, keep your games patched better um, the other thing is uh, if you're not playing on Xbox Live and you haven't patched up to a iExtreme 1.5, you're going to want to click this, check this box here. I have 1.5 so I don't do that, but uh, it, it adjusts the uh, angles of the game for you so it'll run on 1.4. Um, rebuilding makes the ISO smaller uh, than what it started with. I don't like deleting the original ISO, I like keeping the original and the stealth. Just because I'm like that. Uh, MISC is your region code. You need to do this. I forgot about this. Uh, you want to select NTSC slash U if you're in the US. Otherwise, it says Australia or New Zealand is pale, pale Europe, NTSC, uh, Japan, China, or other. Um, that's really all you need to change there. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, do our first file. All right, you want to come up here, right here, this button here. Click it, and it'll open up the dialog where you can select your ISO. Um, I already have it open to mine. It's NHL09. Uh, you want to select it, and it'll show up in this bar here. Now, all you have to do is click Launch, and a command prompt like window will open up. Or you see it right here, and it'll uh, check everything for you. Um, it'll just check your stealth. If the stealth fails or is uncertain, it automatically updates it for you. And uh, what it's doing down here right now is checking the CRC uh, of the different parts of the ISO to make sure they all match up and they're uh, from the same disk and not different parts someone put together. Um, I've already done it, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because it takes a while to do. But you have to run this if you haven't checked your uh, stealth already. Um, uh, if you go quit. All right. Um, up here it just uh, says shows you like the padding the region code it sets the region code if it's not right uh, this tells you that it won't work on uh, older versions of iExtreme it's just letting you know um, you want to make sure before you burn that everything looks valid SS, DMI, and PFI you want to make sure it's valid and especially stealth you want to make sure that passed because that's the most important that will allow you to play on Xbox Live um, so go ahead and exit that. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, that's really 
all you got to do for this program. I mean, it automatically does everything for you. It's a nice program. I like it. Um, I'm going to have the download links in the description for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Go ahead and join the forums at our website. It's iviuppet.com. Uh, go ahead and join the forums. Welcome to post. Join in on the discussions. Uh, we'd love to have you. But uh, thanks for watching. Again, this is That Sexy Motherfucker. Thanks.